Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real Fans Real Talk.com, where Arthur Diamond Trip Young and intern Tom, for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real Fans Real Talk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Cost. Even tell a neighbor, tell a Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. What's going on? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. <laughs> it seems that my co-hosts just, you know, they they, they want to see me, you know, with my solo out for for a couple of weeks. So I'm back here dolo, but you know, I'm I'm never really alone because I got a lot of friends that that love sports and uh, they love to talk sports. So you know, when, when in times like these, I just call up my friends. So uh, you know, Emerald, you know, I just I hit her up. She said, you know what? Yeah, I'm down to come go back and forth with with Trip, and, and you know, she likes to start trouble. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. He Welcome. Got a whole backstory. You know. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. I'm Emerald Marie. Exactly. We're gonna have, we're gonna have fun, and of course, you know, we got we got Mr. Borland for peace himself is going to join us in uh in, in a couple of minutes as well. H two O is going to pull up, you know, because you know Borland for peace never really stops. So the bowling is uh, is actually coming up next. So Haran's going to come through, and we're going to talk a little bit about that and what was going on. We got we got a lot of charity events uh, that are coming up over the next couple of months. So you guys definitely gotta gotta stay locked in with us, uh, you know, because we got first we got coming up on uh, the twenty third of this month. Month. We're gonna be back out with our guys in the Bronx over at uh, Ring Ten. Uh, they, they're having the eighth annual uh, gala over at the Marina Del Rey in the Bronx, and uh, they got they got uh, Mr. No Mas <laughs> as the as the headline, uh, you know, for for the uh, for the event. Roberto Duran will be in the building for that. Plus, of course, they got all the other champs coming through. I ran the Blade. Barkley is going to be there. I'm sure Aaron Davis will be there. So it's going to be a whole lot of boxing champions, both past and present. You know, that's our, that's our big thing. We rock out with them. Um, if you guys want to get more information on Ring 10, it's ring10ny.com. Um, and what they do is they raise uh, money for boxers that are falling upon hard times. Uh, shout out to, to the entire Ring 10 organization, Matt Ferrego. Uh, Mr. B and all of those guys, that's that's family for us. So that's coming up on the 23rd. Uh, we also got more boxing in, in this month, too. I know we got Triple G and Canelo this weekend, but the real champ, Justin Biggs, is fighting at the end of this month on uh, the 29th. So we're going to be rocking out with uh, with Justin Biggs. Again, shout out to Justin Biggs. I was rocking out with him with Fashion Week. He just happened to pop up at one of the fashion uh, shows that I was at this week. Oh, you uh, was this out week. in Fashion Week? I mean, I, you yeah, know, call I, me. I, I, I dip in there. We're going to talk a little bit about I Fashion was, Week. I was, I stepped know you, out. I know you was out there, out there doing your thing with Fashion <laughs> Week. You know, so we definitely going to talk a little up. bit, a little bit about Fashion Week. Um, but yeah, so we got that. And then, of course, uh, the 2K tournament is back. It's going to be our third annual NBA 2K tournament. It's on the PlayStation. Y'all know that already. Sorry to all you Xbox guys. But, you know, if you want to play in the tournament, you're going to be playing on Xbox. I spoke to the to the, to the, to the two-time champion earlier today via Instagram, and uh, he told me that he was coming back for the three-peat. He said he want to be like uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls coming back for the three-peat. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be joining us actually in, in, uh, in the next coming uh, weeks as well. Uh, you know, for that, but that's gonna be big. We're gonna be be back with our family over over at Bleachers uh, for the first round, which is gonna go down in November. And then, of course, you guys know that we'll be at the Barclays Center in December for the finals. It'll be during uh, one of the Nets games. We're looking at uh, the Nets Suns, but we'll give you guys all the the details once everything is is locked in. But it's definitely going down the third annual Real Fans Real Talk 2K tournament, and of course we're raising money for Family on Three, which is Anthony Mason Jr.'s uh, charity. So you know, if you guys want to know more about them, you can go right on their website, familyon3.org. These are two great charity organizations, so definitely you know if you guys can. 
donate. And if you can't donate, you know, financially, donate your time. Come out and see and, and work with the kids and family on three or, you know, just help out with, with one of the events that the that Ring 10 does in the Bronx. Because especially, you know, with Ring 10, they don't even have an office. Like literally every dime that they raise goes to helping the fighters. And I'm talking about they've helped fighters like I ran Barkley, who, who was homeless. And they helped him get his life back on track. You know, they uh, they helped. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the big name uh, fighters. Riddick Bo, you know, who's somebody who made close to sixty million dollars over his career. And you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out, and you lose it all. But Rinkson definitely helps the the fighters. And like I said, every dime goes to the fighters. Um, but with that being said, our charity tour. You know, you know, we do that year round. So we're gonna be talking about that every week, every Thursday. Um, but Emerald, welcome back once again. Thank you for having me it's once it's, again. It's always it is always a pleasure <laughs> um, when you when you come on the show because I, I I think we, we we really go in uh, we we have a lot of fun. <laughs> when we <understand. laughs> so I'm definitely uh, glad that that you are uh, are, are back. Um, I know we, we 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 definitely get to Fashion Week, but I it, I I hate when I have to talk about these subjects because it, it like. I'm, you know, as I'm seeing it earlier today, I'm more I'm more so just sad mm -hmm. than anything. Um, you know what's going down right now in the in the NBA. Um, you know, Emerald, I know we, we were talking about this a little earlier, but right. you want you want to lead us in to what's been going down? Yeah. So basically, Jabari Bird, um, he was drafted in the 2017 NBA draft. He recently got arrested. Um, he held his girlfriend captive for about four hours. Um, he choked her, allegedly, of course, um, that he assaulted her. So he won't be starting the season. Um, he said he needs some personal time to um, heal and just maintain his mental state. Um, <clears throat> the Celtics released a brief statement. It's just heartbreaking. I mean, you're a young kid. The NBA is a dream. Um, we just spoke last week about people mm -hmm. ruining their careers and other way are getting accused, but here's a situation where, unfortunately, yeah. he's not denying it. Yeah. Um, and it's just sad. I mean, you didn't even get to start in the NBA yet. He so. literally just signed a multi-year deal yes. to play for the Celtics, who are probably going to win the Eastern Conference this year, or at least have a good chance of winning the Eastern Conference. Yeah. And this is a young kid. He's only been in the league like about a year and a half. He played in the D League, like I said, and then he came up. Yeah. So when I saw this, I'm just, I was just sad, and you know, is first of all, I mean, you never want to be in those kind of situations yeah. anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't condone that at all. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you're in entertainment or sports news, anything where you're in the public eye, it's not just, you know, you, of course, I mean, you possibly get jail time, whatever, right. you know, behind it. But you ruin your career. Yeah, your character. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot yeah. people, teams don't want to mess with you mm -hmm. after that. I mean, we, we just talked about being defamed last yeah. week. We spoke about he being defamed. Clearly, you know, he, and he did it to himself. Yeah, he did it to himself. Right. Absolutely. Look, I mean, look at Ray Rice. Mm -hmm. Ray, I mean, yeah, n has not seen the NFL since since. Then, since that whole situation. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd be wrong as a female to not address. Not just is it sad for him, but as a woman, you know, you should never be. In a relationship with someone, regardless of their status, their money, that they're causing harm to you. Because I feel like in situations like this, this probably wasn't the first time. Yeah. You know, like typically it's not, it's a reoccurring thing, especially with abuse. So, you know, regardless of him being NBA, NFL, like I don't care how much money your dude yeah. has. If he's strangling you and hitting you, that's something you, that you just can't, you have, yeah, can't and I, be in. I understand that it's, it's hard to walk away from situations, but... You got to do it. You can't right. you can't stay in situations where you're being abused. And that's for everybody. I mean, that's not just women, that's Absolutely. men, women, whoever, because anybody could be being abused. But you cannot keep yourself in those situations. That I mean, there's help if you reach out mm -hmm. to your family, friends. There's yeah. hotlines you can call for help. There's Absolutely. so many options that you have. So, you know what I'm saying? I definitely do, you know, I, I feel bad about this whole situation. I wish it would, would not have happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? But in, in regards to, to, to Jabari, I mean, his career could possibly be yeah. over because yeah, teams is... don't want to touch that kind of mm -hmm. stuff anymore. Especially with controversy in general going on, whether it's the NFL with everything with cap. And 
I think more than ever, franchises are trying to stay away from drama. Yeah. So if you have, you get arrested, you hit your girl, all weed. You know, we talked, we spoke yeah. about Kenneth Farid. It's, it doesn't look good. It speaks to a brand. These yeah. are all businesses. These aren't, you know yep. what I mean, to be played with. So. And you just got there, like yeah. You, you just you was in the D league. You came up. You made it. You made you, it. To right. The you made it. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's heartbreaking. Very young. Yeah. Look at Chris Brown and Rihanna. I mean, it's not. I know it's not sports, but that hurt his career for so long. Yeah, it, it took, took Chris a Brown while. a while to regain regain his fan base back. Yeah, so to, to bounce back. And it, I mean, this is just it's more prevalent even now than it was then. Like right. if you're doing this now, like the the, the needle was on you. Every every celebrity needle is on you, yeah. you know, because of social media and yeah, TMZ and all of them yeah. people. Like the, the scope is on you. So thank God this wasn't a recorded situation because now, <laughs> nowadays everything's getting yeah, recorded. Every, yeah, and you would have really been in so trouble. So he's kind of lucky this was like word of mouth, or he yeah. can still be like I, allegedly. But thank God it wasn't recorded because that would be yeah. even worse. So I, I I don't I don't know, man. But hopefully, you know, he gets the the help that he needs. Absolutely. Uh, and he can move on with his life. Hopefully, I mean, I, I really do hope that he gets a, mm -hmm. a, a chance to play in the NBA again. Yeah. But I know that the league is definitely going to come down on him behind this because especially the NBA is not playing. At, and it at speaks all. to black men and mental health that is often ignored because yeah. I think that's an issue as well. So the fact that he even made a statement that was like, look, I need to focus on my mental health. I think that was like the exact words used. Um, yeah. Because clearly there's something wrong if you're doing that, holding yeah. your nap for four hours. So, I mean, I think it's great that, in a sense, that we could take something out of this to highlight if there's something wrong in a relationship, you need to seek help. Yeah. So. No, that absolutely. Um, so hopefully he can get it together. Yeah. But uh, we, we still going to talk basketball. But uh, we're going we gonna, to we gonna talk a little. We're going to switch it up, though, and go to women's basketball. WNBA finals just went down. Yes. It was yeah, a sweep. It was sweeps week. Oh my goodness! It, it, was, it was it was bad. I mean, I think every game was a blowout. Yes, so, this was not. <laughs> yeah, Adela Don. I mean, I know, and I, I don't want to slight her too much because I know she was playing hurt yeah. coming into into the series. But I mean, she she kind of just she can't. She was canceled out by by yeah. everybody. Like I mean, it was it was it kind of reminded me of the Cavs playing Golden State. Mm -hmm. With how dominant the Seattle uh, Storm team was, they came out blazing. Yeah, Absolutely. and it was kind of like them versus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so it, it was it was just crazy. They got swept last night's game. I mean, Seattle had a chance. They had they got it down to six points last night. Yeah. And then they, you know, just a couple of bad turnovers, and you know, once you get two bad turnovers and two scores on the other end. Absolutely. That changes the whole momentum. The momentum, of, yeah. That energy is gone. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Brianna Stewart, though. MVP I of mean, the regular season, MVP of the WNBA <laughs> Finals. This this girl, I think, just coming. She just came from a winning history. I mean, look yeah. at her college. Yeah. You know what I mean? You UConn. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like you go to UConn, you're used to being a winner. And then you go to yeah. the WBA and you still kill. And her 30 third points. year was 30, 30 years. Rookie of the year. Now she's MVP of the season. Is she the best player in basketball right Listen, now? Listen, she's killing. She might so, be the best player. I honestly, don't know she... you know some people who go, come from an amazing collegiate career, then they go pro and you're like, I don't know if the hype is there. She has lived up to all the hype and, yeah. and more. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's. Amazing. She she, de she definitely has, and and she dominated yes. the entire series. You know, I, I, like I I have nothing bad to say about yeah. her. She had an amazing season, an amazing finals. Uh, but I can't give her all the credit. Mm -hmm. I got to shout out Sue Bird, mm -hmm. who has been with yeah. the team the longest. Yeah, absolutely. Three championships now with the team. Veteran. Um, she yeah she she didn't she wasn't scoring crazy throughout the series, but. She was the reason that they made it mm -hmm. to where they was because her three-point shooting in the earlier rounds yep. was crazy, you know, keeping them alive, keeping them winning series. But she was passing the ball very well. She was definitely facilitated, had the girls in order. They, they knew they knew what they were supposed to yeah. be doing. The ladies, you know, she, she's a, a great team leader. They were fluid, too. They had a good mm -hmm. just... She was happy. I know she she was very happy that she chose to stay Yeah. in Seattle. I mean, her her, her career, like her... Her accomplishments throughout her career mm -hmm. are phenomenal. Like yeah. everything 
that she's done in the WNBA. I mean, she's she's got to be, one, you know, definitely she's definitely one of the greatest of all time mm -hmm. to play in the WNBA and then to oh, have wow. the the longevity right. that she's had, you know, in the league. She's been around for for a long time mm -hmm. and she's still winning. And and they're they're good enough to win again next year. Absolutely. That's right. you know that's what's even crazy about this whole thing is they Brandon can still not letting come back. up, man. It's... Yeah, I mean. When you have somebody that young and that dominant, right? Like to start your career off like that. First off, you're moving forward. You're like, I started this way. It's like yeah. being a freshman and sophomore in college. You're like, you think senior year you're not gonna go out hard? Exactly. Like, no, nah. you're gonna yeah, you're gonna go even harder. Especially and now she got that 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 win. Yep. That first one. Once you get that first one, you want to keep getting more and more and more rings. Yep. So I think she's definitely uh, going to have a really good career. You know, she she might just take the number one spot in the league if she keeps if she keeps this up. I mean, yeah. I know, you know, Candace Parker is, is is probably on the top right now. I mean, Maybe. I know Skylar <laughs> Diggins is out there, Della no. Donna's a couple of you know, ladies that's that's up there as well. But I mean, to come in at this young in the in the career and to take the M V P of the season and then finals M V P. Right. I mean, you, you gotta love that. Cliff Cliff, can we can we can we pull up some of the the, the game from last night? Yeah. And show just how dominant Seattle was. I mean, Washington, they, they just, there was nothing that they could do with the, with, with Seattle. I, like, it, it was just crazy out there how dominant they were, and, and every game was a blowout. It was like, it, it really was not close at all. <laughs> right. I, at all. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was bad, you know? But what are you going to do? Congratulations again to the 2018 WNBA champs. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, Next year, they will be back to defend, <laughs> defend their title. Because <laughs> they, they got to, I mean, outside of Sue Bird, the team is pretty young. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. So there's no that's reason. That's scary. When you have a young team yeah. win like that, that's scary. And they, like, <laughs> completely dominated yeah. them. So, I, I, listen, it, I mean, the game wasn't exciting just because it was such a blow. Like, it was about exciting mm -hmm. for maybe, like, five minutes in the fourth quarter right. when Seattle was coming back. But other than that, I mean, they pretty much dominated them mm -hmm. from – from start to finish. So again, you know, congrats, ladies. I I do wonder if uh, if they will be visiting the the White House. That, that's oh that's what I would like to know. I I can't wait to uh to see once all of that talk Listen, starts. Nobody wants to go. Right <laughs> now. To nobody wants to go. There. I mean, you know, you you, you never know. Yeah, we here taking out funds. Um, and I, man, listen. Listen. I mean, he's not, you know, 40, 40, 45, He's definitely uh been on a on a roll. He's, yes. still, he's still taking shots at the NFL. You Listen, know. keep tweeting. The ratings are low. I'm like, boy, someone take Donald Trump's phone. Yeah, I mean, you know what it is? My problem is I just feel like he acts like a five-year-old. Right. Like, you just have to say something all the time. The time. And this isn't even, like, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. I'm not even getting into that. I'm just saying as a president of the United States, yeah. why are you on Twitter? More, yeah. Like there has to be something you have, uh, something you have to fax <laughs> off. Somebody you have to meet with. You're on Twitter more than me, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't get he, it. He has to get his two cents in. He has Crazy. to say something. Like yeah, sometimes you could just be quiet. Like you already, you we know you got issues with the NFL. You still because yeah. they wouldn't let you buy the bills. You right. know, a couple of years back. So you you know you're taking this thing real personal. Yeah. But you know he just gotta chill, man. Even the back. way he tweets, like with 9/11, he just wrote like, "Wow, it's been a I forgot how many years it's been like 11 years." He wrote something like a sentence, like, "Wow, it's been 11 years since the towers." Whoa, and he's, then he's, another president, you know, Obama, was like, <laughs> wrote this whole paragraph like. You know, years ago today, I pray for these families, and I'm just like, come on, where is your yeah, empathy? Shout out to my man, man Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Mr. President. <laughs> my president. <laughs> that's, that's my that's my guy right there. <laughs> shout out, shout out to him, and uh, and and the former first lady as as yeah. well, uh, Michelle. Michelle Queen. Yeah, but uh, H2O is is in the building. We're gonna bring him out in a second, but make sure you guys are following us on all our social media on the web. Y'all hit up that website. Cliff, could you pull up the website for the people at home so they know what we're talking about? It's realfansrealtalk.com. If you guys want to hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, Instagram, Twitter, both at realfantalk. And, of course, if you want to send those fan mail questions, then it's fan mail at realfansrealtalk.com. And, uh, oh, subscribe to that YouTube channel, man, youtube.com. 
forward slash for the fans productions. That's where you get all the exclusives. We got the Big Gene interview up there for all you internet, you know, people. Y'all know what that's about. Just check it out, man. Because, I mean, we're here. And we got a whole lot in store for you guys. Tehran H2O is in the building. He got a... Looking all, nice. Looking clean. Yo, he, yo, that's, that's, my, that's my guy right there, thank man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, now, first of all, come on, man. What's going on, man? Haran just... First, Hi. As soon as Hi. I call Haran, that's what I love about Haran. I can hit him up and be like, yo, Haran, I'm solo tonight on the set. I need you to pull up. What's up? You got me? And what does he say? Of course I got you. Yeah, man. He's dapper down he in his up. nice little pink and gray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to switch it up. Cam over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so much <laughs> like, you know, I rolled up, so much I, like. told, I told y'all I got, I got friends, man. I, yeah, you man. Know, they they, they come friends, out and support. I, listen, I, I would agree with you on that. I definitely <laughs> will. You uh, call and I'm here, man. Not, like, and, I, and I appreciate it. And uh, you, you have something cooking. Oh yeah! Once oh, yeah. again, yeah. You know, uh, Battle of the Barrels is back. We got Battle of the Barrels. Uh, yeah, that was a crazy event last year. It was um, it was. Um, that was the last year we had uh, the Balling for Peace Battle of the Barrels. We actually opened uh, we opened it up for the first time. The first two years we had it as almost like a private bowling yeah. event. You know, at Baltimore Lanes, Chelsea, and um, last year we opened it up to to the public and Battle of the Boroughs. So we had like uh, two or three celebrities from each borough. We had opened it to Long Island and New Jersey. And um, and then we had uh, open sign up. So if you're from Brooklyn, you could sign up on Eventbrite for the Brooklyn team. Mm -hmm. We had only six spots for each boroughs. And then we had a celebrity uh, lane as well, just for the celebrities to play. And uh, we gave out trophies and, and everything. We also had a, a drop off uh, spot for Puerto Rico because that's when the whole thing with mm -hmm. Puerto Rico oh, wow. uh, for people to give clothes and a portion of the uh, proceeds went to Puerto Rico last year. This year we're back um, looking like uh, the date will be um, November 30th. We have two dates right now okay. for it and we have two venues right now. So we just well, trying to get the best. Well, you probably going to need two venues because last oh, year man. the people was falling out the door. You couldn't even like moving there. Yeah, it was. I it mean, was, they know me, so I was good. I, you know, I was able to get through. And, I, you know, I always got to shout out Jizzy because, you know, she made sure I had some extra tickets. Yeah, we had the, uh, the, the drink tickets <laughs> and, know, and the so food tickets shout and out everything. Shout out Jizzy for that. She always yeah. holding us down. Yep, yep. You know, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely packed to way past capacity. I don't even know how you get away with the things Yo, that you get away with. Well, you know? that's why we got to talk. <laughs> that's, that's why we got to talk. I mean, it was all in peace. Yeah, so no, but it, we, it was a it, it was, was great a great event. event. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was, um, it was good, but it was just. came out bold, and I'm talking about. Everybody was talking about how great of a time they, they had. had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even it, it, I'm talking about it was packed like the like the line of DMV pack. It, it was, was like crazy, crazy in oh, there. That was real, real. It was <laughs> packed to the point where people had to like go in the outside with a boat, where they um play pool and yeah. all that other stuff and and you drink even and fit in and the bowling alley. It, it was, was crazy. Wild. It was and, crazy. And you had what was it, 10, 12 lanes. I had 11, 11 lanes. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. and all of that was packed. The outside area was yeah. packed. All the way to the, the bar. D, yeah, it was, it, like it's, it, it was just crazy out so there. So they, they told me this year, um, can you give a realistic number? Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, I don't know you because, do you know, the people came out and it's like, I don't think they saw that many people at, at Bowmore and ever probably yeah, like for an for event, event like for one event. Yeah. You know, I've seen the events and the events are like, you know, hey, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. it's yeah. just very... No, yeah, you know, I, it's, like, it's, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, like sometimes Haran amazes me with the things that he pulls together. I amazed myself with that one. I was yeah. like, I didn't know what to expect because it was the, literally it was the first time we opened it up for bowling. So right. we had it, and it's always been a nice crowd, always been a nice audience, but. We didn't really put it on the gram like that. We didn't yeah. send the open invites to the people. And so the, this bigger. one was the first time where we had the public to be able to play yeah. with the celebrities and everything like right. that. And they loved it. They're like, when is yeah. the next one? When, you know, you're going to do bowling again next month? Yeah. And that's like, uh, because, you know. Because, you know, first of all, nobody, none of the celebs come with the ego. Oh, no. So it's an amazing event because they're just cool. They're chilling with everybody. They're taking pictures. Mm -hmm. They're doing interviews. And everybody is having a genuinely good, good time. time. Yeah. And the best part about it is it's for a great cause. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Like, you know, the stuff that Haran does, and, and, you know, we support Haran so much because we truly admire and appreciate 
the work that he does in mm -hmm. the community. Absolutely. You know, like it's, it's it's amazing. You know, just from the from the coaching and working with the mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. and whatnot to putting on these events. And some of these events are enormous events yeah. that he, that that are bigger than than a lot of times he even plays. Yeah, and facts, I don't think facts. people even highlight that enough. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes you know, so often we highlight the damage that's going on in our community, yeah. not yeah. those who are making well, we yeah, huge exactly. changes, changes and yeah. covering. It just needs to be more coverage and yeah. those types of yeah. Well, um, I feel like last year, um, well, this year, early this year and the end of last year was uh, probably the most uh, noticeable noti notice I got from these events. Being on the different platforms like Fox 5, Pick yeah. Me Up, I did it wow. in the BET. I had two BET write-ups, um, you know, uh, 105. 105, 105. So it was good, and you know uh, the new movement with Drewski and everything. So that was that was dope, you know. Um, it's an attribute to the work that you're putting facts, in. you know. And yeah. I've been on here countless times, you know. Uh, I mean, real fans. You know, this how is, we do, we this, I think this is like my network. Like yeah, this well, is. Like, I, I don't even <laughs> consider this. I love it here. Yeah, like this is this <laughs> is home. I'll come every like week. Your friend like, that comes over, yeah, and then and, nah, you better go and get your own juice. Yeah, yeah like yo, get your own juice. It's no like more. yeah, I'm not a guest no more. They're like yeah, agents here. Yo, just come in. Like yeah, just you know you know. Yeah, like, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get it done. So it's dope, but I love the fact even even with this platform, the, like what is building because you guys are coming out and the people that are coming to the events are yeah. coming here and every and that's what I that's the connection that I want and that's what I want to see like you guys coming up as yeah. as well with with what I'm doing and y'all been there since day yeah. one. So you every, know, and that's the plan event. that we had <laughs> every event, and that was the plan that yeah. we had to to build one another. Some people. Uh, they ask for sponsorship and they ask for dollar amounts and this and that and the third. But the work that you guys have done at my events is oh, yeah. uh, you can't. It's a dollar wouldn't even you know make yeah. sense. Like you know because it it wouldn't make yeah. at all. And some people are like yo, what's the what uh what's the budget or what? You're getting so much more yeah. than if I even pay you. X amount of dollars yeah. for you to come cover the event because you're coming and yet I don't say yo don't talk to this person because you yeah. met him at my event yeah, you, yeah. I don't put a limit to have them yeah. all on your show no, I don't it. care no, like you know what I'm saying that. and um people I don't realize that yeah they don't realize that not yeah. every I always say not every opportunity comes in a paycheck that's a fact especially when you're an entrepreneur and you're, this is just in general if you're a young entrepreneur someone that's starting a business it is so important to maximize uh, networking opportunities, maximize your network, mm -hmm. determines your net worth. Yep. It doesn't matter if you're getting paid or not. That's how I've been able to be successful. I mean, yeah. you know what I do personally. Like, what I've been able to do with just networking is mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. So. No, that's a fact. And we, and we definitely, we developed a, a lot of relationships through, uh, you know, Balling for Peace mm -hmm. and, and the people that come out, you know, so... It, it's, I mean, it's just it's just an amazing thing. So we're looking forward to to bowling this year. Yeah, I'm just. Um, I'm, I think I'm, I'm a, you know. I think you gonna bowl? Year, yeah, I think I think this year. You know, I like. Mark bowls all yeah, the time. Mark be does, playing bro. in the games and he all does, that. He does, but you know, but yeah, Mark shot because because somebody got to run the cameras too. Yeah, he, well, we out there, so I got to make sure. You got Cliff? Where Cliff at, man? You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, yeah, we do got the crew out here. Shout, yeah. out, to, shout out to the crew. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah, I got the crew. They definitely hold us down. Shout out to the whole RTS media. Yeah. You know, they coming up too, man. RTS. Is doing exactly. it big yeah, too, first man. Of all, I hope y'all y'all checking out. Y'all checked out season one of uh, RTS Spotlight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's going down, man. They got a lot of dope interviews, a lot of dope guests. So make sure y'all support them. Subscribe to their YouTube channel as well, because they out here getting it. You got to respect the shooters, man. They doing it. They doing. It. I love. It. I love it. Um, also, I uh, before actual um, Balling for Peace, we have bars. Bars oh, five. That's right. Yes. yes the yes, Halloween yes. edition. Like so, yes. we're gonna do uh, October twenty sixth. We got bars. Um, that's a Friday uh, Hall of Fame. Should I showcase my balls at that one? Yeah, I mean, or if you if you want this time, I was thinking because I'm working on the, the album now. The mix, I, th I thought it was the mixtape, the EP. So yeah, but I just figured I might as well just do it out of the whole oh. album and drop it on the same day as bars know at the event and turn it into like a same. bars slash listening party for Trip's new album. Oh, that would be dope. I'm thinking. What you, what, what's the name of it? Stop tripping. <laughs> hey, no. He on his we'll quick on his toes, man. Come on, man. I'm out yeah. here in these streets. He, he <laughs> quick on his toes, man. That was actually really good. Yeah, yeah, stop no, tripping. I actually thought, like, oh, shit. Yeah. What okay. are you coming out? Like, what are you coming out? I'm telling you, I'm in these streets, man. Yeah. yeah. You got to eat money. <laughs> you you, you exactly. eat money. Well, I'm telling you, I'm in these streets, man. <laughs> you might as well throw out a mix or even a, a comp. You should do a... um. 
a behind the scenes joint for like all the stuff that you've yeah, done and like so much you done so much footage you done you be a running around yeah. with all I mean, this you know and we do have relationships with a lot of artists rappers singers you know ball so players could, yeah ball players everything we got, EP. yeah I'm, you know what i think i'm gonna just yeah i think i'm just do it yo you should just get, get it together. you know what you should do <laughs> this and it'll work too you should get a <laughs> a, a album a mixtape or whatever from people who don't rap and everybody get their own song, <laughs> and it'll be influencers. Like, you know I, what I'm saying? Listen, I think that'll be dope. I'll put it, I'll put it together. Um, <laughs> you know, I know the people's going to rock out with me because they've been asking for it, you know, and I do got a lot of friends. Babe, you, know, you just compared yourself to Biggie earlier, so. What? <laughs> Wait, first of all, <laughs> that, we were talking about something else, though. First, okay, first of all, one, I, I'm from Brooklyn, so. <laughs> he was like, I'm all right. from Brooklyn, you know, Biggie. I was like, shoot. Time out. Don't do that. You know, you know, you know my, my love for Biggie. Y'all know my, my documentary. Wow, well, you, you compared today? yourself to Biggie? It, it was in the context, though. It was so we were talking about something. Yeah, I just First of all, heard. okay, listen, let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> all it. right, my because my my people's you know I'm from up the block from Big, so my people's new big and all okay, that new okay. kid. I can't tell you the stories on the air okay. of the ways in which, but that because I think they're here or there. All right, but you know, shout out to you know shout out saying? to stop tripping, man. Like, you don't do that. That's <laughs> big. Enough. It's going. It's going. Down. You know what? Go that there. album is going to pay homage to Big anyway, because you know that's the whole Brooklyn thing. Oh, okay. Spread love the Brooklyn way. You know. All right. So that's what that was where I was going with that one anyway. Mm -hmm. So you know how that you know how that goes. Nah, that's man. what's up. Yeah, I mean we out here. That's you know, I'm, I tell you, I'm in these streets. I'm working, trying to put this thing together. Yeah. You know, so just y'all yeah, just keep keep rocking with me at home. You We're know, here for it. exactly, because I'm I'm doing my thing. Uh, Haran, I do need to ask you this. Uh huh. All right, it's been. You're the only one who calls me Haran too. What like? Because you're the only all, person. How long have we known each other? I know. And we've known each like other be before. Too. No. I, no, just people. You know, he knows me. So yeah. like he. So if you call me my my real name, you really know me. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying. Like we family. This ain't yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. this way. We've been like, too many like, years. It sounds different when you're in the interview. Yeah. Sitting down, like, hold on. They're like, oh, hey, that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. That's like, me. Yeah. I'm yeah, in there. yeah. That's me. Yeah. But uh, but it's 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 coming up on a year. I know last year in the 2K tournament you got eliminated early. Yeah, I ain't. I, I'm not good, bro. I know, but you I'm know. just trying to say, did you have you been practicing at least <clears throat> the game? I know the game just came out, so Let I need you. The last time I played 2K <laughs> was in the 2K tournament when I got whipped. Them dudes oh, nah. be coming out for that bread, man. Yeah, like, they they definitely I, do. I'm like a I'm a charity case, so like <laughs> I'm there to fill in and look good. And the LA was playing. Too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got the celebs but I'm out. I'm good in real life, like you know what I'm saying. That's so, yeah. But right. I need you to practice. I can't, you know, we cannot have you losing in the first round yeah, this year again. You. I, you know what? You know what? You got I'm, time because we, we actually because we, we're going. When is it? We pushed it back so we're gonna we're working on the first week of November. Uh, the first week of November. All right. So you got time. <laughs> He's about to go yeah. Home today, nah, I'm like, practice. Because we don't want to make it too far between the, the 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 finals and the first round. So since the, we're gonna do uh, the, towards the end of December, we figured we pushed the, the first round up to November. You still gonna rock with the um? How you feel about the Barclays? Are you not gonna do? Oh that? no no, we back at the Barclays. The finals. That's, yeah man, that, that's that's you know that's the family over there. What, what do you think about the um? I've been hearing about the gamers like big. They be playing like Fortnite and like different arenas and stuff now. Yeah. Yes, uh, you know what? The, the whole video game culture is it's like crazy. on a it's whole yo, other it, level. You know, I be with the kids and everything, and they like. They know they like ninja and all it like they naming the people's like yeah. names and I'm like and they're like huge. Yeah. Like so instead of like Drake and all it they're naming video game people. So I'm thinking yeah. about getting some of these video game personalities. To you, these you have events. to events. Like, There's one play, I know. You, you play Oh, yeah. we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> we up there doing Yo, the shout out to Ellie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yo, I tell yeah. you, I, I really do love uh, love our crew here at uh, Real Fans Real Talk, man. They they mm -hmm. they're some amazing people, but but yeah, man, this this video game culture is so huge. You know, I know we've talked about it, but the uh, you know the, it's so big that the NBA started the E League, mm -hmm. and now each NBA team, eventually every NBA team is going to to have their own uh, E League team. Again, shout out to the to the New York team because they actually brought a championship to New York, something that the Knicks haven't been able to do in almost fifty years. Oh, you're talking Yo. about in the um in the E League, in the e yeah, in the two K tournament. But it was for New York though, so New York actually got a win. <laughs> I, I, you know, we just talked about I'm being just a saying, Knicks fan last week. Yeah, it's, <laughs> are you a Knicks fan now? First of all, you know damn well yeah, I'm not I a know, Knicks he, fan. Yeah, I know. Now he's a Laker fan. 
first of all, you know, I'm not a Laker fan. Where, I'm, a I'm support. I, first of all, I hate I, the I Lakers. I'm not mad at I him. I hate the Lakers. I'm going to support LeBron because that's my guy. We just well, okay. So how does how does it feel every other year? Having a new team to root for. Yeah, well, well, this is the only time I've actually hated it because I hate the Lakers. Yeah, the Lakers ain't. I, I can't yeah. get with so, the Lakers. But bro. it's like, but you know, I got to support LeBron Even, until he retires. So whatever, wherever he's at, I want him to win. How many more years do you think he got on top, like top years? I would at least three. At least three. At least three. If LeBron wasn't spending a million and a half a year yeah. on his body, like and on his hair too. Yeah. Well, he probably <laughs> should spend more on this. He yeah. spends a lot. Not on enough. His not yeah, not really? enough. He does. He got to talk to that guy, Mr. Commodore, to be posting up with. Yo, Commodore <laughs> got a hairline again. That's he what I'm saying. Why? Hairline. And you know, and Safari, I, I heard. That's nah, Safari, <laughs> he got to chill. He got to chill. <laughs> Safari got a whole full head. I know. Yeah, but he got to chill. And so did Tiger. They're like, who are y'all doctors? Because can y'all help my man's LeBron? LeBron? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. You know what it is? I think LeBron, he doesn't do it right. You know, I don't think he does it right because he hoops. Yeah. <laughs> All of them don't hoop. Yeah, so that's it's true. it's probably with the sweat, the extra yeah, sweat. Yeah, yeah. And you're not supposed to like play that's true you're not supposed yeah. to move like he move all the time and he yeah. got he probably the hot tub that's and this probably and what cold, yeah his body you know so see that. them other dudes so his, he's his not gonna be right till he retires spread his hair yeah. out he get his yeah. shit right exactly. he's gonna retire and have a full fledged kobe right. afro after yeah that, you know what i'm saying it's just gonna be he's gonna be all good but for right now while he playing you know it is what so it is i have money i wouldn't even care if we made fun i'm pretty sure he doesn't care now he care did you all see the about breakdown that? of how much he's making per minute next season for oh, how yeah. much yeah, he got? Like, did wow. you see that? Like $127? It was, yeah. A, 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 a I mean, but I heard he got like some, like, stock in, in, with the Lakers or so on. Like, yeah, for the yeah. Lakers to get him, he had to do, it had to be, like, a, a some so underlying, some, don't some know back about. door. Yeah, because uh, listen, going to well, the Lakers. I mean, you know he has like, control. He has, he's part, part GM, <laughs> so, yeah. you know, he got that. He picks and chooses who he can have on the team. What do you think about Lance Stevenson playing with him and Rondo? Like, people who, like. Honestly. A lot of people feel like it, it, it's not going to work, but I really feel I like it is going to work. Lance, you know? yeah. Out of all of those guys, first of all, Rondo, you know what I'm saying, is a great point guard. Mm -hmm. And he I don't think he gets enough credit. Oh, he is great. But, I mean, what he did for New Orleans this past season going into the playoffs and to not have have Boogie, uh, you know, during, during the playoffs, and, and he's, they, they swept uh, the, the, through the first round. I heard Rondo gave them five minutes. Of what? To like, like match a contract or oh give him goodness. an extent. Some well, that was kind of crazy. If that's true, then like I already gave him like I think like he, I think it was somebody said five, somebody said twenty minutes, and then listen. I heard Boogie Cousins didn't like they they offered him something and he went with way less because he felt like he needed time to get back in shape or something like that. Well, they offered Boogie a contract earlier. Okay. And he didn't – I think at that point he just wasn't trying – really thinking about yeah, resigning yeah. right then and there anyway. Mm -hmm. But he did get offered a contract from a couple of teams, but he wound up taking the minimum, like you said, at that point because then he wanted to prove himself because he wasn't going to be back this yeah, season anyway. Yeah. So if he comes in towards the end of the season – plays maybe like the last two weeks of the season and then goes into the playoffs and Golden State wins the chip, he's right back to getting that crazy check he was going to get, right. even though he, realistically, you know I mean, he hasn't done anything during the season. But as long as he's on the floor and looks good and he's like the old Boogie Cousins, they're going to pay him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's going to be one of the top paid players next uh, next season. I heard y'all kind of talking about the, uh, the, uh, the WNBA finals and stuff, how, how it was pretty much a wash and one-sided. Mm -hmm. deal with um, Seattle <coughs> yeah. taking home the crown. And I, I've seen a lot with women saying that they want to be paid like the men. I, yeah, I mean, for me personally, I, I'm all for women's rights. I'm, I'm always pushing that. But in, I think in, the, uh, in, like in sport, <coughs> the sporting world, you have to be able to bring in that revenue um, for, for <coughs> you to get those, do those same dollar amount. It's not yeah. about the physical... Uh, what you're doing? Well, they you know. they don't have See, the. Don't get me started. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna you in a second. Yeah. But the the thing, all right. See, what people fail to realize is we're actually we're talking about two separate businesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. The NBA is a business. Yep. WNBA is a business. The NBA j just makes a lot more money. There's literally not enough money. To, you can't pay the WNBA players what the, NBA players are getting yeah. or anything close to that because there's not mm. enough money for that. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 I mean, on the court, in accordance to the money that the league actually generates and, and, and these teams and have, I mean, you know, 
they're being they're being paid what they can. There's just right. not there's no money for that right. for them to be paid in in the millions of in dollars. So be- I hear what you're saying. We actually just spoke about this a few weeks mm-hmm. ago, and I think it's a combination of things, right? I think we spoke about marketing. We spoke mm-hmm. about um, just advertisement. There's a there's a lot, and I just um, had read. I think it was like four percent of sports four four percent mm-hmm. of uh, sports showed on uh, television. I'm sorry. 4% of women are shown playing sports. So it's, like, out of all the sports shown, only 4% yeah. we see women. And that's total sports. And that's not WNBA. That's, you know, a whole bunch of sports. So mm-hmm. the fact that 4% is that number is so low. So how can you have not have commercials and just certain things that kind of generate endorsements? Um, just more ways to make money for these uh, players. So we spoke. I think it's just a combination of things, but well, I think thing, the fan base is there. The, you know what? It, I think one of the, the big issues is areas. is they're they're not getting the push. I think they could use a, a definitely a bigger push as far as television goes because I mean I I would literally the other day I'm like how's the the finals of the WNBA on ESPN News? I, I was like I'm like how are you gonna, how are you gonna have Game Two of the WNBA finals on ESPN News? There's a lot of people that don't even have that channel. Mm-hmm. And then when they got, you know, the game three got bumped up to ESPN2, I was like, all right, well, at least they made it to ESPN2. At least most people have ESPN2, but there's a lot of people that don't have ESPN News. I'm like, this is the finals. TBT was on ESPN. That's, like, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yo. That's a money tournament. Like, how? And I was on Main Street. Yeah, ESPN. I mean, the, the big three is on, is, yeah. is on, well, on, Fox, on Fox Sports. Fox, yes, Fox Sports came to Fox 5. But that's a, but that's a, that's a you know a, a network that people have, more people have. have. Yeah, I'm I was really racking my brain like how could the the WNBA finals <laughs> be on ESPN News? Like it just was crazy to me, you know that they're not getting getting that that time and nobody talks about right. them. They just don't get that that media coverage but that they should. That's my point. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I think it's just it's a trickle down effect. You know what I mean? Because if you're not even seeing it, you're not knowledgeable of it. It's hard that like growing up, you know, since I was little, I seen NBA. I, I was familiar with their players. Mm-hmm. For me to be familiar with WNBA, I had to seek that. Like, I yeah. had to really actively search who, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and I was a, a ball player, so fan. I, I, my, my did, did, father did you grow showed up me. playing? Yeah, I played ball. So, and I ran track in college. And then I, I, even with playing basketball, like, if I wasn't, I, it, people could say that about soccer. Mm-hmm. Soccer has grown in the United States, but... If I played soccer, I would know everything about soccer. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I, I feel like people who, there's people who don't know uh, mainstream NBA players who, because they don't watch the game or they don't play the game. Mm-hmm. I think when you grow up wa- uh, playing a game, mm-hmm. you watch that game as well, too, because yeah. you're interested in it. So I think, but it's like. But people who don't play NBA, who care about sports, but we see it everywhere. Well, because we, because one you know thing is, yeah, we, they see see it. Like, we see the athletes because it. of endorsement deals. Right. And, yeah, but they, that doesn't mean that they're into it like you know what i mean it's still oh no, no they might not be into the sport but they yeah. know who the players are yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're right, that's pushed you know i mean so they'll know the a lebron james but there's not yeah. many people who know courtney lee from the Knicks oh no or nobody anything. Knows. like you courtney you're lee. not gonna know but there's like, guys but you do know but there's guys like uh like a Kyrie. Right. you know chris paul you know james like you could go off off the top right now and name 25 nba players that most of the world knows mm-hmm. I don't. I know. I can't go name twenty five WNBA players right. that most of the world knows. And to me, that makes a difference. I can't even name all the and teams. This, and this is me <laughs> doing homework and all that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I couldn't tell you all the teams. Now, I mean, I could name some players, but because it's because uh, you know of what I, of what I too. do. But the average person is not going to know the people that I'm naming. Like even if like right now we just talked about early in the show, Brianna Stewart. Mm-hmm. If I walk out right now into the into the lobby of the and of the station someone. and ask <clears throat> ten people if they know who Brianna Stewart is, all ten of those people probably are not gonna know who she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she just finished winning a championship, winning the MVP of the season. UConn and I can and still in, in yeah, and and they still not know who she is. I think in college they have women's basketball is more prevalent and more is yeah. much bigger. Than I would want to. I wish if I was a female, I would want to stay in college. Yeah, you know, especially like a UConn team and stuff. It, it sucks for a lot of those girls who. Graduate and then have to look forward to the WNBA yeah, that's what or overseas. To go overseas. Yeah, Most they of do. WNBA women <coughs> have to play overseas and well, in the WNBA just to make a salary. Well, that's the most. That's like yeah. the main. That's like 
every athlete who doesn't make it yeah, to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like the yeah. NBA. You know how many players? Yeah, it's only yeah, four. It's like a privilege to be yeah. in the NBA. NBA like, especially if you like look at the number of, of players in college yeah. in comparison to the, who yeah. can actually make it to the league <laughs> or even the D league. Yeah, but you you have Division One, Two, Three, JUCO. You yeah. have overseas. So you have many. foreign players. You have. Yeah. So every, and everybody can't everybody make it to the NBA. Everybody can't make it. So even in those leagues, you, you get a couple dollars. Like, I played overseas, so I know how that is, like, playing overseas and grinding and then coming back and playing, and I'll do a three-on-three -three tournament for some money and yeah. stuff. You, that's the way you got to hustle when yeah. you're playing a game that you love to do and that you don't have to get – you don't – it's at, at, the, the WNBA has kind of ran like an overseas organization. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now they're the ones who kind of started in the States – wearing logos and stuff like that and the nba took that from from pretty much europe but then uh wnba was the first uh the uh wnba was the first one to put logos on their you know mainstream logos on their, their jerseys and stuff like that in the united states so uh you know and then the nba follows suit but they only put one big one like whoever gives the most money yeah right. you know and that's the thing even if you if you look at who like i guess who Right now, the biggest star in the WNBA, uh, maybe Candace Parker. Say, or Candace Parker, or, or I would say Skylar uh, Diggins, maybe one of, what one about, of those. Uh, one of those from two. Uh, Mercury. Have um, you taken this on to think about it? No. I'm not, <laughs> That's from a point. UConn, um, <laughs> um, not a. The shooter. Oh, my God. See? Diana yeah, Tarasi. Not Diana Tarasi. Tarasi. I I, yeah, but I don't. She, I, is she is she the biggest star? She play, she's one of the best players. Yeah, but I don't she know if she's nice. one of the biggest stars though. And to be honest, the fact that Candace Parker and Skylar Diggins are like the most well known, I feel like that's even because of the attention they get for other reasons. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not even because places. of basketball. Yeah, Skylar Diggins not even, is not. Yeah, nice. it doesn't like, even. Oh, chill out. Whoa. <laughs> she's <laughs> high, but she's not. <laughs> whoa, she's not right. it. <laughs> she's not it. But, she's but, um, no, she, you well, think but, she's? You think she's? I, you know what? Players? I, I can say this. I followed her more in college than I do now, right? But I do think she's nice. I do think her and Candace Parker get more attention with what they've done outside of the court than yeah. the court, which is a problem. You know what I mean? But, which is why, you know what I mean? Like, all the things they yeah. do, endorsements, their looks, other things have definitely helped and their e attention. And even with all of that, they're still not household names. Right. So, which is, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, it's rough for the WNBA. I mean, how many more years do you think Candace Parker has? Yeah, because she's been... Cause, yeah. She's she was working out with Kobe the other day. I so, she's trying to extend it. She yeah. might try to, you know... You might get the, the fadeaways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She was working on, you know, she told him to shoot. shoot just her. shoot the ball. Yeah. <laughs> so, she's, she's definitely said she was going to take that advice and run with it. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, but, it, you know, if the top stars in the WNBA... Are not household names, yeah. and what I mean, you know, everybody else that's coming down the list after them, they don't even have a have a chance. And yeah. even uh, Young to marry, what's her name, to marry Young? From, um, because she's on Love and Hip Hop now, so I feel like people oh, know about her. She's on Love. Well, and yeah, but they're gonna yeah, say they're gonna say Mimi, so it's the same situation. Yeah, like, but they're gonna say, oh, you're talking about the girl from Love and Hip Hop. Yes. they're not gonna say the WNBA yeah. player. Yeah. If I it, like, even that's kind of I think people are doing so much different stuff than the, than the norm that you know usually uh, they would have done. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to to stay relevant mm -hmm. and to you well, know. I mean, listen, as a, as a WNBA athlete, if you're not gonna be paid as much, you have to. Then like, you got to yeah, do. You got to do. You, I mean, you around. Um, you know, you've been working with Nikki and stuff now too, and stuff. Yeah. You see the her grind. Nikki, like she's rapping now, but she's yeah. always yeah. rap. She Shout always rap. But Avery. this this yeah. year, she's really put it out there. <laughs> Um, more and um, yeah. seen her working out uh, on the ground this morning, like back on her ball stuff. Yeah, but she got to do all that and, and keeping her name out there and keeping herself fresh. But then go back to that do 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 what yeah. she really do. You know that's what I'm saying? The, and she the could switch out to and all she women could, being multifaceted. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. I think it's Listen, necessary. The, to do it all. Yeah, I will say, like one thing, like women in sports, I know they they do work extremely hard, mm -hmm. and it does suck because if if you're just like at the core of things, yeah. yes. We're doing the same things as the as the males, so it does kind of suck because if I'm doing exactly something, yes, you you do want to be paid like that, but if, it's just not possible for them because the money is not there for that to happen. Yeah. But then, uh, I, oh, okay, no, I was gonna say also too. It's about like I women's basketball um, is uh, is more played uh, properly, like you know what I mean. The game is played properly, but like the NBA. 
they're dunks. They're like, you know, they're doing well, certain yeah, things just, that people want to see more. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like the fan. Like they're not would, they don't dunk enough. I, I, I do yeah, think like, th that would be one thing. <clears throat> if there was a lot more dunking in the WNBA, yeah, I, yeah, that yeah, would like, People love when the girls they That's dunk, why I was phenomenal like, when Britney Griner and certain people but, did come about because, especially when she came about, that was like a spark of like, mm -hmm. she was so aggressive and she was linking yeah. and just... The so way she was think, playing. Do you think they should Lisa lower, the, lower the basket then? But then that's going to be like, yeah. oh, they had to lower it for them. Like, I don't even want that what? to be. Like, I don't well, know. Well, I mean, if you think well, about I it, think there's a difference in the size of the basketball. Yeah, that's so, true. So why can't that's they a have a, a, a lower room? Because if you think about it, I that's mean, true. the average person in the WNBA, I mean, we don't, we're not looking at, at seven footers like that. Like in the NBA, where you, this is the land of giants. Guys that's six eleven, six you know seven footers and taller. The WNBA, I mean the tallest person right now, I believe is six eight in the WNBA. Wow. So you know at six eight, I mean yeah, you got the guy. I mean in the NBA, of course, it's LeBron is yeah, six eight. Yeah, I never even thought about Paul that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of, so yeah, maybe they if they're not the height, shouldn't it? yeah. Yeah. So if you that's brought valid. the if you brought the, the 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 rim down, even if it's just maybe six inches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would definitely increase, increase the, 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 the chances of dunker of dunking, and making that a would move and the whole do do and then oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be if, crazy. If, if, if there was more dunking in the WNBA, definitely I would help to increase would, popularity. Yeah. I would watch it because uh, you want to watch a dunk. Do you remember Swing yeah. Ball? I used to love that show. You like, want to watch a dunk? And they was jumping over trampolines and stuff. Yeah, like and that. you so still and you know it's not really like the professional basketball, but you want to watch it because they're dunking. It definitely it gives a different element of excitement. I agree with you. That's something. Cause they move the whew, like you make a do do a crossover and in and out whatever and then you come and dish it off and a, a dunk uh, yeah, is alley, different. Somebody like, throws an alley, 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 alley. just don't cut it. Yeah, you know what yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta throw and throw it up it. and she too. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. That's, that's definitely phenomenal. gonna be like, top three on Sports Center. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if they if they're dunking off the more imagine off the backboard and shorty coming. Yeah. Women rights and women's sports. Did we talk about Serena? We haven't talked about Serena. and And the reason why we haven't talked about Serena yet because. You know, we've been dealing with the back and forth at you know at home and whatnot of you know just trying to keep her cool. That's his what's girl. What's been what's been going? I don't know if you know. Oh, he knows. He knows oh that. yeah, he not, know. I forgot. Knows, yeah, you know what? I have, I have forgot. Well, he knows that's wifey for lifey. Um, yeah. Listen, that made me like emotional. Yeah, it, you like, know what? I, I, and I I'm, had to calm her down behind it. Um, you know because clearly it was an, it was more of an insult than anything to her to like accuse my wife of cheating. Do you want me to give um, the people a rundown of what happened? Go ahead, tell, get, tell them, bro. So this past weekend was the U.S. Open, and um, the legendary, the queen, Serena Williams, um, she lost. Now, it wasn't, to me, it just, it, the whole match bothered me. One, for Nicole to even be booed for winning was sad because she's 20 years old. She, you know, when it yeah, gets her. Yeah, she's a kid. She played right. well. And, and, <coughs> she, she, played she, and she really said she wanted good. to play against Serena. She, she played amazing. However, the umpire basically um, accused her of being coached because he had put up, I guess it was like a thumbs up. Yeah. But he admitted after the game that he was coaching her. However, he didn't think she could see. And I think from her angle, I don't think she could see. Yeah. And they pointed that out. But he, in the camera, he was going, I almost feel like he was sitting there as a coach and he was kind of like this. And she looked up and she said that she's seen thumbs up. So that's, you know, yeah. what happened. I, I don't understand the, with tennis, like, you know, there's no way, like, even if a coach, what can a coach possibly say? Dude, to, to, yeah. right. If somebody's hitting that rack, you got to yeah, go. What, like, what, like, what can right. a coach do? He's coaching. What? Yeah, what are you coaching? What is he coaching? But so she basically was very vocal. She said, you need to apologize to me. Mm -hmm. She kept yeah. getting more infractions <coughs> in the game and losing more points. Now, this same official had history with him actually doing the same thing to her sister, Venus. Yeah. So I actually seen that, and, and it was the same thing. And she was like, don't attack my character. So it just kind of got really crazy on social media. Um, people saying that she He's was a sore, whining, a sore loser, that she was complaining. And they were actually really saying negative things about her speaking out. Yeah. I'm proud of her for speaking up and saying that you're wrong. You know, you need to apologize. But I think it was just... An unfortunate situation. It was very emotional. It was emotional for me to watch, honestly. I just, well, I don't know. I mean, it, you know, they, they, they try everything with uh with Serena to, to try to <laughs> That's why it bothered knock me. Her. Yeah. So it was just like, this was just like one more it thing was just, yeah. on the list. You know, and, and everybody's talking about how if it was one of the males, it probably wouldn't have been mm. went that way. But, you know, with Serena, I mean, we spoke about this when, when, when the rest of the, the Girls Talk Sports yeah. uh, team was on. 
how many how much more she's drug tested in accordance with everybody else yeah. in tennis. Men, women combined, no one is tested as much as Serena Williams is. She's phenomenal, bro. And yeah. that's the thing. It's like, why can't you accept that she's just this great? Yeah. yeah. So know? shout out to Serena Williams. You're still a champion. But also shout out to Nicole. What's her last name? Us. I can't even see that. Shout out to the young lady that won. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shout out to her. C- congratulations. You know, Japanese and Haitian as well. They, um, yeah. they actually said, oh, Japanese first, uh, something yeah. like that. And but they, they, they didn't, didn't, they didn't mention they it. Out, yeah. They left, I out, they left out the Haitian part. Before, I mean, clearly you could look at her and tell she, she got, got a little... little Little, 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 little soul in her, little brother in her. Yeah. Brother, no. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. somewhere down the road. Yeah. Because <laughs> when she, it was like, she's Japanese, I said, she well, played she phenomenal. Like, no, she played. Yeah. I, I, think, I, I watched the game and I'm like, you know, she's. This is the young. You can't teach, you know, youth, too. Like, you know, yeah. if you're young, you know, you can move around. And I'm watching the game and I'm like, she was, yeah. She's just like, moving. even in tennis, anyway, it's, it's hard to. Lateral movement and everything like that is really tough. So like Serena, she's she, she's a she's the goat. Like you know, but and, but she's not as fast as the, the young lady yeah. who won. You know what I'm saying? And that's like even no matter how good you are, yeah, you, yeah. you still like so you know. And she was she was everywhere. And yeah, it was unfortunate know? that the situation that happened took away from from the Nicole, match. You know, with, like but her joy of her winning, like mm-hmm. like but hurt me when she was crying. She got Taylor Swift. <laughs> when she was crying and she was like, I'm sorry that I know you guys didn't want it to end like this. I was like, you're a champion and you're apologizing for yeah, winning. Like she, she that. Been. But she's young, though. She's, she's young. And she beat her hero. So yeah. like, yeah, that's emotional. That's like, yeah, I beat. Yeah. That's like. When your idols become your rivals. That's, yeah. That's like, yeah. Like, you know, Kobe beating Mike or something like that. When yeah. Michael was. As prime, yeah. it, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't in his prime at the end, like when he playing with yeah. the Wizards. So that's like, you know, stepping over and like just yeah. that hurt. That's hurtful. That's like, yeah. you know, maybe even beating your dad for the first time in hooping yeah. or something like that. Then you're it's like, like you, you're a champion, and then you're being questioned, like, well, did you win because of this? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then you have to hear what, like, well, you know, with that. But so. it'll, it'll be rematches. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, Definitely. congrats to her. I know I had to deal with situations with wifey for lifey. Behind that whole situation, but we had talks about that. But you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but uh, it's about that time. I definitely got a shout out, uh, my co host today. Thank you all, Emerald. Thank you, Haram, for thank stepping you, up thank, at thank the you. last minute, filling what? in for the stat man yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Legend of I think two I games. did a great, a better job than stat man. I'm well, well listen, so what's Mark, the mistake? That's the same thing about yeah, Mark, that. Well, we're we, yeah. we gonna talk about that on the <laughs> gram, <laughs> but uh, make sure I'm you guys tune in. We'll be right back here next week. Real fans, real talk. For myself, Trip Young, my co-host, Haran H.O. Hargrave, and Emerald Marie. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Peace. Face facts. What up? What up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's Trip Young and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh-huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh, they got uh, the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh, I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the R. Cost. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com.